All right, everybody, welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. I'm currently in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and it is super early in the morning, freezing cold. It's 45 degrees out, and uh, we're going fishing. And it's gonna be, I have no socks on, I have Crocs on, because we're actually gonna be wading in the river fishing for these smallmouth. And uh, so I have like a hoodie on, long sleeve and hoodie on up top to keep my upper body warm. And the lower body is basically gonna get cold. So I may end up getting sick off this trip, not really sure. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta risk it to catch fish. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Yeah, today's video is actually sponsored by Shop Curls. I ordered, I, me and my dad have been obsessed with these new Shimano jerk baits. And I ordered, uh, they're normally $25 at my local tackle shop. And I got them on Carl's for like $13.99 or $14.99 with a Shop Carl's discount. So literally $10 off what I normally pay. So Shop Carl's is definitely a place to go. So I brought uh, three jerk baits just in case I end up snagging them or something. You never know. I got a blue one, a pink one, and a gold one. But without any further ado, I'm going to drive about half a mile to the spot. And the sun should be coming up in about 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and start fishing, freezing our butts off for about two hours. We're going to call it a day because I got to I got to go to Dollywood with the kids. So let's go ahead. We'll see you guys there. <clears throat> All right get the old GoPro on. So I have this tripod right here. I could put a GoPro on. I'm thinking about bringing it. I put my keys up here. Extra GoPro batteries up here. All right, so the cool thing about this new Gomakatsu backpack is it has a rod holder built into the side. So I can fish, a, I can essentially fish with two rods, have one of them strapped to me while I'm mainly just holding the other one. And I would be hands-free, but I think I'm gonna end up bringing this GoPro for you guys. Check out the new Yolo Tech mount I got. Special shout out to Yolo Tech for sending me this. Keeps my GoPro going for like six to eight hours. I never have to worry about it. I just click record. So I would be hands-free, but now I'm gonna be lugging this extra camera around just for another point of view for you guys. So without any further ado, the sun is officially rising. And I have about two hours of fish. Let's go get on some smallies. All right, I just waded through the water. This cold, cold water. Just fishing this spot. So I hope it pays off. I was thinking right behind this rock, but maybe not. Oh, I just saw, saw a smallie bust something up there. They're running. Might be able to get one. I don't know, it could have been a trout. That's fish. I think he's still on it. There you go. There we go. Good. There we go. Molly. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. First Tennessee Smalley of the trip. <clears throat> Pushing a two. I knew right back here at this little stream. Pretty good little Smalley right there. On the little finesse worm, one off Gomakatsu hook. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful little brown. Let's go ahead and get a release on this thing. See you later, buddy. I knew, I knew, I knew that that hole was gonna have a smallie in it. Now there may be another one in there. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna count it out. There could be one over there. So basically we're gonna be working this area right here. There's like a little stream little it stays pretty good and oxygenated there's a deeper hole right here 
Uh, there's a lot of sections of this river it's just super shallow and this is one of the only sections i know that's like it actually drops down to about three or four foot which is a lot deeper than it is oh no oh he got off oh that was a good one man There we go. There we go. Smolly. Anything's fine. So funny thing, this one actually came unhooked. But I still managed to get it up on the bank. I love these little brown fish. Check it out, man. I love smallmouth. I wish Georgia had a better population of them. Beautiful fish. Right here. Another good one. Probably a 16 inch or so. Ah, oh, such a beautiful fish. Alright, we'll get a release on you. Alright. She gone. <laughs> Talking about a little small one, super teeny one. Go ahead and get back in there, bud. There we go. I almost busted it. That's a monster. It's a monster. <laughs> Guys, that is a certified tank right there. Certified. Oh my goodness. Absolute chunk, guys. It's like a three pounder. Absolutely beautiful. In this small little Tennessee River too, I mean, just the coloration on this fish. Oh my goodness, guys. That is an absolute beauty of a smallie. And I got it on the Shimano jerkbait I was telling you about. What a tank. Killer. I'm gonna get a release on it. <laughs> I love it. What a tank. A few moments later. <laughs> oh, my legs are freaking out. <laughs> All right, everybody. That is a wrap for today's video. Caught some pretty good smallies. I think that I think that biggest one was about a three and a half pounder, but just. This little bitty stream, most of it's eight inches deep, a foot deep. Most people wouldn't even think to fish here. But the water was freezing cold. 
and uh, currently my legs are freezing from walking in the creek. If you like the pine side hat and the pine side hoodie, go check them out. Use code Georgia, save 15% on pineside.com. But we're gonna go ahead, get to leaving. I got all you can eat pancakes to eat at the hotel. And we're going to Dollywood today, ride some roller coaster rides. And until the next time, we'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully some big things happening on the channel. New sponsors, new gear. We'll see you guys later. Peace.